All right, so check this out, brothers and sisters. We got 75 gallons of water in here. We got some shotguns, some ARs, some drum magazines, some extended clip zines. We got some uh, an old fucking 50 gallon barrel of peanut butter, which I gotta fix this hole here first, real quick, fast like. Some tape, just throw some tape at it. If anybody remembers why that hole is there, if you don't, maybe I'll uh, put a clip in right around here. So you can see why. Let's turn the camera on here in case this is like a giant fail. I ain't sure how fast. Oh man, perfect, brother. Okay, well that's filling up. I'm gonna take this time to talk about stinky water. Talk about uh, cheap magazines. So anytime if you would ever see me on netflix i'm watching the patriot usually i'm on the internet shopping for magazines too so i got a couple different ones this is the one that came with the gun it's uh, focus made in america it actually works very good uh this is a different one i got it's made in new britain connecticut i believe uh, it seems really good didn't never tried it yet uh i don't think it's the magnet didn't stick to this, but it feels like it might be tin or aluminum. I don't know. And then uh, P Mag. So I said in videos before, I'm not a fan of Pro Mags. They do make good stuff, but some of the stuff it's not. Uh, I'll grab a bolt here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oop. I'm gonna drop the camera in there. I'm scoot the barrel in here real quick. Well, peanut butter, water, and whatever else was in that thing. I might want to stay back when I shoot Dad's movies up, boys. Ah, okay, so here's the mag came with a gun. You can see, sorry, about right where the edge goes at the primer there. Sorry, my camera just refuses to focus anymore. And this is the pro mag, so you can see it's kind of covering up a little bit uh but i mean i'll give it a try the reviews on this mag weren't that good a lot of people said you had to file that down to get it to work right but we'll try them out this thing's just about full uh my drum mag for the shotgun for whatever reason it wasn't really locking in there that good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try it and if it don't work, I'm just gonna drop it and put my 10 round in there. And we're just gonna do some mag dumps on this 50 gallon, 50 gallon of nasty water. <laughs> oh God. So I'm gonna, that's full. I'm just gonna pull the truck away and we'll get to it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Sorry about the drum really not working too good. It always did work good, but here, let me see if I can show you. For some reason, it's not locking in. It's kind of a whole problem. Uh, it clicks in, but the, this isn't in the whole way, so I gotta, just gotta work with that a little bit. I should've just used a stick one, but uh, I was, I was fiddling with it earlier and it was working pretty good. I was like, oh, this should work. Of course it didn't. But I'll get that fixed up. That was pretty cool. Got a couple shells left, so we'll see if we can mow her down maybe. Okay, this is my Kenosha rifle. This is the rifle I'll be carrying in the battle. Uh, so... One thing, 
like seriously, one thing I do like about the, the AR-10 is, right, especially right now, like the ammo, you can still get all kinds of 308. This is, I mean, I got this at Walmart the other day. They're, I think, like $16 for a box. Like regular 223556, it's like, if you can even find it. I was looking last night because I was watching The Patriot. Uh, it was three three hundred dollars for 250 rounds something ridiculous a uh, nine millimeter sixty dollars a box yeah 308 which is still it's awesome like i love an ar-10 better than an ar-15 you know it's just so much bigger so much more power it's my rifle god damn it uh what was i saying i was going on a rant uh ammo uh so yeah rifle uh this is the i like this setup you need a good optic that works for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. Whatever optic that you're comfortable and you can use, that's the one you go with. I have the 45 degree uh, iron sights on the side. I actually really like these and I'm actually really good with them too. You can just tilt the rifle and shoot with them. I like that. And I got the three by nine on there with this good eye relief. Has a pretty good field of view. I might swap it out, try something different, a bigger one. I like a nice field of view. Uh, ACOG, my buddy had an ACOG on his Mini 14. I really liked it. They're, they're pretty expensive, but I might get one for this. And because they're light too. The bipod, I'm used to shooting bipod. That's just kind of my thing, I guess. You want a good muzzle brake on there. Good flash hider. Uh, sling, you have to have some kind of sling on here. I'm not a big fan of slings, so I usually just go shooting. But anytime hunting or you know a rifle like if like seriously if you did have to go to battle or something you need to throw this thing on there it has to be has to be good has to be really you know on there it's not it's not gonna be an issue and like i said i got some different kinds of magazines i ordered some more last night because like i said i was watching fucking patriot again uh so these actually camera focus better this way it's like i was saying how you can see more of the the bullet there, you see how it's a lot more flush up there. And this is the Pro Mag. I don't like Pro Mags, but you can see I got five in each of these. I never tried either of these mags yet. That one's tried and true. Oh, I even got like crap on me from that thing. The barrel, it was a mess. I don't think it was just water in there. <laughs> All right, so we got five in here each. It's uh, we gotta load her up and just see how it runs. Should work, should work good. That's one thing I do like about this rifle. You need one that you can trust. Like, I shot this rifle a lot. It's a very good gun. I like it. It's very trustworthy. Okay, got some crap set up down there. This is the ASC mag. I'll do it with an open bolt there. Chamber's good. Fits in there real nice. Get you fire. Yeah, see if you can make any more water fly. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So I love about 308, man. They just hit so much harder. There's five rounds. Worked very good. I'm obviously going to try these mags a lot more. Okay, this is the Pro Mag. It fits in there good. Chambered good. Gun, it's just so accurate too. I mean, this hits right where you're shooting. Uh oh. Let's track up more here. Hmm. Okay, this is the mag that it came with here. Chamber's good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah, this one sounded pretty weird. There it is. Uh, besides that one bullet not going off, which was pretty strange. I should have... Okay, it was in the bushes. I'm not getting covered in ticks to find that stupid thing. So there it goes. Uh, you want to make sure you know your magazines. I'm going to try these out some more. I'm going to try this ammo out some more, too. I never never really used it that much. So, it was like, the, it hit the primer hard. The primer was dented pretty, 
It just didn't go off the primer, didn't go a bad primer. Uh, so I'm gonna try some more. And it's another thing too, regardless what kind of ammo you have, stuff like that's gonna happen. And you have to learn how to clear your gun, like a jam or something. You know, obviously there, I was just, just shooting. But it's something you do want to practice is clearing your gun, changing magazines, figuring out what's going on. I mean, I can even tell if it doesn't chamber right just by the the feel of the gun. I can tell when the bolt shuts tight. If it doesn't shut tight, I know. Like, this is something you got to work at. But so that's it. Just a little fun little video, just shooting some shit. Uh, hope you get out and do some more. It's a beautiful autumn day here, nice and cool. So I'm gonna do some more shooting, try out some try the ammo. That, I think that was an old box I had there. It might not even been now because I didn't even open these. You know what? No, cancel that. That wasn't that ammo because it didn't have the, the blue. What ammo was that? <laughs> That's another thing too. Make sure you stay organized. Like, don't do anything I do. So I'm gonna load up some of these and try them real quick. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that ammo. That was the 180 grain ammo I used. I think back like my, my video when I did with that Setney rifle. Uh, so I, that ammo might have been old. Uh, this is brand new, federal, so it's in that Pro Mag. I'm gonna try it out. There's 10 rounds in here, because these are 150 grain. That other one's 180, and I can't remember where that ammo did come from, so that was my bad. Like I said, you wanna keep your good ammo organized and, and stuff. So let's just try this. Should probably work better. Let's try it. Your TV. <laughs> All right, there it is. They work good. So like I said AMO. I have no idea where that other stuff came from, but I'm gonna try to organize my stuff a little better there. But there it is. Thanks for watching. Got yourself a little four wheel drive tip here. Whoop. Pay attention where you're going. First tip number two. Yeah, tree in the way you just pull that something right out of there. <laughs>